but he's pretty much effectively telling Diego, I'm not going anywhere. Diego all in. Back over to J.C. Seelbach. He's going to call, and this is a monstrous pot, 24.6 million chips. And Diego, the former winner, is really up against it. You can see the percentages. J.C. Seelbach in control, and the winner of this pot will be in control of this tournament. It is Diego's tournament life on the line. There's the ace, though. Ace, seven, three, couple of clubs out there. Another club, and J.C. Seelbach really in trouble. Needs a king and only a king. Not going to happen. And Diego, playing aggressively, gets a little bit lucky. Now up to 24.6 million chips. And J.C. Seelbach down to 4.5 million. He's going to shove with the ace, 10. And as we glance around the table, we see that he is in trouble. Bach power with the pocket aces, and he has J.C. Seelbach covered. When we started this final table, Fish Virus was our chip leader. We already lost him. J.C. Seelbach has been our chip leader since, but he looks to be in trouble. Yep, there's the shove by Bach Power. Tanho getting out of the way, and unless J.C. Seelbach gets really, really lucky, he will be out in sixth place. Jack, 6-4, couple of clubs out there. Nothing at all for J.C. Seelbach. Well, 110, he's going to need another one. You believe in miracles? No. Deuce of spades, and J.C. Seelbach is indeed out in sixth place. He is from Michigan, earns himself $49,638. Five players remain. Our chip leader is Diego. Bach Power, by the way, raises. He makes 2x Bach Power. Has already won a 250k guarantee tournament on Stars. Plus, he's final table the Sunday Million and the Sunday Warmup. Quite the poker resume for Bach Power. We haven't heard much of him from the first 50 hands or so. Kind of biding his time, picking his spots. But now, he is definitely a force to be reckoned with. With just about 14 million chips. Tano calling with the Queen 4. It's an interesting play. Tanho from Brazil. And Diego's going to squeeze. Some aggressive play here. I'm not surprised by Diego's play. I'm not surprised by Bach Power's play. Tanho 32, though. I'm not quite sure what he was doing with the Queen 4. And he's going to call. He calls the three bet. He is in position. Maybe he just knew he was going to flop diamonds. I don't know how he knew, but maybe he knew. Now, he is a favorite, although he is behind right now. Diego's king high is the best hand. Diego also has the betting lead. Let's see how it plays out. Both players very, very deep. Pot 6.7 million chips. As always, we welcome your comments either on this page, or you can always tweet me. I'm Tuck on Sports. Diego with the C-bet, 3.9 million. A little bit more than half the pot. And Tanho calls this pot now 14.5 million chips. And it's getting more and more interesting. Diego still with the best hand. Tanho with a straight draw to go along with his flush draw. And now Diego checks. Over to Tonho. I know a lot of players that like to take a card here because they don't want to get check raised off the best hand. But in this case, Tonho has to know his queen high is not good. And even against an ace high, he's a dog with only one card remaining. Bet six million, and that should get the job done. Very unorthodox play from Tanho from the start. But he's now up to 30.9 million chips, and he is our new chip leader. Diego down to under 20 million. Let's jump ahead to hand 63. Oh, Jimbo. So what about a cooler here? Talk about a cooler. Ooh. Diego gets out of the way. Here's a three-bet from Lennon. And how about a four-bet push from Jimbo? 
it's all pretty obvious. Well, Lennon's actually going to shove with the aces, but obviously Jimbo not going to go anywhere with queens, not five-handed. I know a lot of I know a lot of players who can fold queens pre-flop, but awfully, awfully difficult in this situation. Pot 16.8 million chips, and Jimbo needs to get very, very lucky. Well, nothing there for him yet. A queen and only a queen. That's not going to do it. And Jimbo, 1420, is out in fifth place. He earns himself 66,184 American dollars. Well, this is what it looked like at hand 63. Tanho being our chip leader. Bach Power in fourth place. We're going to jump ahead a few hands. Lennon now with 22 million chips. And Diego, who was our chip leader earlier on, now in third place. Blinds 300,000, 600,000. Still anybody's tournament. Both Bach Power and Diego with very impressive poker resumes. Both have final table the Sunday Million. Diego has won it before. Bach Power has also won the 250K guarantee on stars. Well, Tanho liked Queen 4 suited. You imagine he'll like 69 suited. He's going to make it 1.2 million. We know Diego's not going to fold this. He is in position. Yeah, he's going to raise. Back over to Tanho. Now he called with Queen 4 suited earlier. Well, he's going to call this time again. He is dominated, though. And this time, he does not hit the flop at all. Jack, Jack, three, rainbow. Tano has twice as many chips as Diego. And if you're Diego, you can't hate this flop. You've got ace high. It's a paired board. Well, if you like the flop, you're going to like the turn. I mean, Diego's not folding this if Tanho bets. And part of the reason Diego checks behind is to avoid being check-raised, keep the pot somewhat small, and at the same time, induce a bluff. 3.6 million chip bluff from Tanho. Diego is going to make the call, and the river could be interesting. Pot is 12.8 million. Oh, what a river. Oh, that's ugly. See if Diego can get away from this now. Tano's going to check. Wow, well, I mean, I think Diego thinks he has showdown value. He knows he's never going to get a pair to fold. And he's going to check behind. And Tano, that's a missed opportunity there. I'm, I'm not sure if Diego calls off or not, but it's a really, really tough fold for Diego if Tanho does bet that. And, uh... Disgusting river if you're Diego. Tanho now with 38 million chips. Diego down to 10 million. Just about, I want to say 17 big blinds. Bach Power also about 15 big blinds. So our two most experienced players are somewhat short stacked. Lennon on the button with the gap suited connector. Could see a raise here, but I don't think it'll get through. Wow. He's going to give that one up. Ace three against... Yep, there's the push, and Tanho's definitely going to call this. I can't imagine Tanho folding this ever. He calls. Pot nearly 20 million chips, 19.1 million chips, and Bach Power is all in and in trouble. Needs running clubs or three. Well, there's one club. A king will chop this one up. It's a seven. And that is it. Bach Power is all in and all out. He's from the Netherlands, and he earns himself $82,730. Another one of those hands that kind of played itself. 
Buck Power with just about 15 big blinds, picks up an ace in the small blind. He's going to shove there every single day, twice on Sundays. And obviously, Tonho, our chip leader, always going to call with the ace eight. This time we got pocket pair against pocket pair. Ace, ace, three. Both players probably fairly happy with the flop. You get a paired board out there. It's unlikely to have improved your opponent. Three-handed, you figure, you know what? I got two pair. Maybe it's good. You wouldn't put your opponent on a three. Lenin going to bet. Fairly certain he has the best hand. Let's see how Diego plays this. Tonho now up to 45.2 million chips. And Diego is going to check raise. Lennon's going to shove. Uh, that's a clue. Diego's got to know he's behind now. Can only beat a bluff. And there's really no draw whatsoever. I don't mind the aggressive play from Diego at all. I actually like it and I love the fold. Well played by him. Or her. Diego, by the way, from Buenos Aires, Argentina. A fantastic city. If you haven't been there, check it out. I spent about four or five weeks there. And if you haven't, you're missing something. And the Latin American Poker Tour gives you a perfect excuse to go down to South America. Lennon going to complete from the small blind. This is hand 82. Tonho going to tap the virtual table and see a flop. He's a 2-1 to one favorite if we go to showdown. He does have Lennon dominated, but obviously both players likely to miss the flop. Let's see how it plays out. Oh, what do I know? Queen, nine, six, couple of diamonds, and both players hit top pair. Tonho with top two. Lennon really, really bad shape. There's not even a heart out there to help him. And it's going to go check, check. Oh, and a five on the turn. Both players with two pair now. Oh, this is a really, really unfortunate situation for Lennon. And Tano only going to call. River's a king. This pot is somewhat small. And Lennon obviously thinking he's value betting. And Tano just going to call. Tano played the hand very, very slow. He underrepped his hand. Decided not to put any chips in on the flop and then just called the turn and river bets. Lennon going to raise on the button. Tonho with the sevens. Oh, this could get ugly for at least somebody. 